Meanwhile, horrified New York City leaders gathering in Times Square tonight to show support for Israel. Also there, Israelis now stuck in New York, hoping and wanting to go home. Many of them had friends killed during this weekend's surprise invasion into Israel by Hamas and the massacre that followed. With their powerful stories tonight, here's Iowa News reporter Josh Oninger. They sang the Israeli national anthem tonight. Americans linking arms with Israelis, Jews with Christians, several hundred finding solidarity with one another after Israel's darkest day. Why they took my friends? What my friends did to them? Eden Abu is here on vacation. Otherwise, she would have been at the desert party where Hamas murdered 260 Israelis. She had friends there and says one was taken hostage by the terrorists. Another, she believes, was murdered. Back here in New York, she says she watched in horror on social media as her friend's lifeless and naked body was carted away by Hamas. Why they took them? They went to a party. They want to enjoy, and suddenly everything changed to, to I don't know, hell? What is that? They took little children, parents with the children, old women. Why, why, why did they do that? Tonight in Golda Meir Square, the mayor and city leaders lit candles arranged in the shape of a Star of David and denounced the inhumanity of Saturday morning's surprise attack. And it will go down in the history as one of the most draconian, disgusting acts you can ever witness. When asked who here had lost loved ones this weekend, nearly half raised their hands, many of them Israelis who'd been visiting for the Jewish holidays and now are struggling to find flights to go home. It's safer here, but their hearts are in Israel. Some, like Alex Krzyzanowski, need to get back so they can fight. I got friends who got killed. I got friends who are missing. I'm trying to get back as fast as I can. I'm not a person who cries, but I've been crying the last few days. Man. I want my friend enough. back, and I don't believe. Is enough. I don't believe so going it's to going stand. to be. I want, I hope, but as the president of the I'm not going to lie to myself. There are more Jews in New York than in any other place on the planet outside of Israel. And tonight, nearly 6,000 miles away from the slaughter of innocent civilians over the weekend, this city mourns.